Hi, this is John Flynn from Cobble Advertising. Today we're going to talk about the Zuck is in love. The Zuck is in love. Facebook announced it's going to have a dating app. Oh my goodness, Zuckerberg. You, you are this close to replacing Bezos as my favorite person on the face of the earth. Zuckerberg. Ah. First of all, Zuckerberg embarrassed the United States Senate with their absolute inane questions regarding Facebook and, and Silicon Valley and anything. <laughs> They were better off bringing their grandchildren in and taking the microphone and asking Zuckerberg questions. They sounded like idiots and morons. Now, how are you going to regulate something? You have no idea how it works. None. <laughs> it would take them years to figure that out, if they can, which I don't think they can. So what's Zuckerberg do? Does he go back and hide in his cave and go, wow, that was a close one, right? <laughs> Stock's okay. All right, boys, we're just going to lay low for a while, make our billions, and be quiet. No! <laughs> Not the Zuck. He announces a dating app. He's going to fix people up on Facebook. Why? Why? Oh, my goodness, it's a whole other branch of advertising opportunity. See? Zuckerberg's like... <laughs> Zuckerberg's expanding. He's just going on, and he's like, you know, here's another whole trench of things you could advertise on. The, the dating app. Think of it. You could do it by age. You could do it by gender. You could do it by occupation. You could do, they're all single people, right? Oh, hopefully. <laughs> no, you could do it by that. You know, they, they sign away their data in the term of service agreement, which I'm sure they're going to make very explicit this time around. And then all their Facebook data goes into their profile. And then, you know, Zuckerberg's going to do a great... Zuckerberg is going to marry so many people. <laughs> I mean, he's going to put so many great relationships together. You want to talk about, like, Harmony.com? And the guy goes, you know, the old guy goes, you know, where we have our scientific... You know, no. <laughs> Facebook. No. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook is is audience segmentation, period. So yeah, so Zuckerberg's coming out, he's gonna have it. I don't know, he probably won't charge for it because his advertising dollars are gonna be humongous and he's gonna start marrying people and then God knows. I mean, then this could be a cascade of a whole, you know, it's just endless. This opens up a whole new, whole new way. To do it, I mean, whole whole new way. People getting staying longer on the platform. The longer people stay in the platform, the more money Zuckerberg makes, right? The longer they stay, they get their fees. They go to the dating site, da 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 da, da, da you know, and then see what happens. And then you know, the dating site be spectator sport, you know, just like Tinder. You know, you go on and it's like, I wonder who I match with, and you know, you just put it in and you're like, look, and I'm like, oh yeah, and then you know, maybe you go you know, swipe right or whatever. Um, and see, just for laughs, just for laughs, it's going to be great entertainment value, and, uh, you know, it's just, I just admire Zuckerberg of, of, of saying that I have nothing to hide. I, and basically, I know he's giving the finger to, to, to the Senate, but I mean, he's just saying, listen, there's Match.com out there, there's Tinder, there's uh, Harmony.com, there's all these things, that dating sites out there, so, you know, why can't I put one out? You know, what are you going to do, shut me down? You know, and not take a look at everything else out there? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. And, you know, the timing's great because he's not going, you know, this is Zuckerberg's way of saying, I'm not, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you've ticked me off. <laughs> you, you've dragged me to Washington to ask me ridiculous questions, and I won. You know, he won the stock. The stock didn't go down. That's how you know you won. Okay, none of these TV pundits who have no idea what they're talking about. I love these people on television when they try to talk about, you know, stuff like this. They not a clue. <laughs> they're just talking nonsense. Oh. No. And what's Google doing? Nothing as usual. <laughs> 
the death of Google. It's just like it's got it's just lying there with cobwebs on it. You know, people are like, oh, the new Google, you know, uh, personal assistant is is doing well. No, it's not. No, it's not. You know what's going to happen? Version two, version three, they always fall off. You know why? They got four hundred engineers with great ideas, but the top brass won't let them do anything. It's just full of bloated bureaucracy. They got sixty, seventy billion dollars in the bank, and that's all they care about. You know, when the CEO was on TV, he said, "Oh, the big problem is finding talent. Yes, we have to like educate people in India. Then bring. You don't need talent. You got a lot of talent. You Google. You got a ton of talent. You're just bloated. <laughs> you need to cut yourself up in micro companies. You know, and do it that way. You know, I mean, as soon as those." Smart college kids go to Google and realize it's rotten from the inside. They're gonna leave and start their own startup. You know, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so Zuckerberg's in love. <laughs> what can you say? It's just awesome. John Floyd, Cobbler, have a give me one month. One month of my mobile marketing platform, and I'll fix it.